Hey guys, Ray Del Vecchio here. Um, I want to show you how you can add social sharing buttons to your WordPress website. Um, this is done with a really awesome plugin. I just found this probably about a month or two ago. I've been playing around with it and I really, really like it. It's called Sumo Me. You can go to sumome.com, S U M O M E.com, and I'm going to just click the Try It Now button. Um, you can either enter your email here, uh, and they'll send you a couple promotional emails, but I'm just going to skip it and download it. There we go. Just skip that step. And I'm going to go right down here. You can actually load this if you just have an HTML website, but since we're using WordPress, I'm going to click this button right here. And that takes me to the plugin page, or the plugin download, and I can download it. So let me go ahead and upload this plugin. I'm going to go back to my WordPress and main area to the plugin section. Click add new. And I'll click the upload plugin button and we're going to choose the file. And just click install now. And then once it's installed just activate it. And we can start to set it up. So let me go to the settings page and it looks like they give you a unique site ID when you um, when you install it and in order to actually set it up you gotta register the account so they tell you how to do it they give you the steps right here so the first thing you want to do is go to the website where you loaded it and they're gonna have this little badge on the right side of the page the top right of the page so let me do that I'm gonna go there and that's where we create our account from so I see the little badge up here. It's kind of hard to see because I got a blue background, but let me click on that and it tells you right here we got a new site ID and we need to set up our account. So I'm going to click sign up. So let me type in my email address and let me type in a password here. And they also ask for your name and phone number, but you'll see they do give you a little skip button here. So let me just skip that step. And right here, we can get going. To install the apps, we go to the Sumo store. And the one that we're looking for to do the social sharing is this share button right here. So we're going to click the share button and click free. And for the majority of these apps, they give you free options. And to do certain things, you have to upgrade to the paid. But what they give you for free is actually really, really nice. I mean, it's, it's, it's well worth it to, to do this. And if you start to get some traction, then you might want to upgrade. So let me actually exit out of here. And you can see the buttons are added right to the left side of the page. So it automatically starts off with um, these four services, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Pinterest and the email button and then this is their icon the sumo me icon and when you click that it gives you the option to use more services and from the settings page you could select which services you want to show up on the icons on the left here and the other cool feature about this is it's completely mobile responsive when the browser window is um, resized or it's a mobile browser window where it's um, narrow You'll notice that when we uh, drag the width down here and let it resize, these icons actually drop down to the bottom here. So they, they stay completely out of the way of the content, but they're always there. So they're easy. It makes it so easy for people to share this regardless of where they are in the article. You know, most other share um, WordPress share plugins, they'll put these sharing icons like at the, at the front of the article, at the bottom of the article, you know, Maybe they have them attached to the one side of the page, but usually it doesn't adjust for mobile. I mean, you would think something as simple as social sharing would be done well with a WordPress plugin, but it really hasn't been until Sumo Me. Sumo Me has been, it's probably been 10 times better than any other plugin I've used. So I highly recommend this plugin. So let's actually go into the settings really quick here. Let me exit out of this. And I'll go back into the um, share settings and just quickly go through them. So this is where they give you the stats. They show you how many times um, the icons were clicked. And it'll show you which pages um, had those clicks. So let's go to the layout. You can actually ch just choose the different sections. You, if you want to move it to a different section, you can do that. If you want to attach it to the left side, right to the left of the content, 
you could do that. If you want to attach it to the right side of the page, you could do that. And likewise, with the um, mobile portion, you could either keep it center or go left or right if you only have a couple icons. So now that we're going into the settings, this is where we drag and drop our different services. We could select different services from here, and they have a ton of, ton of options. They just added within the last couple of weeks SMS. So it makes text sharing uh, really, really easy. And you could do the sort order. The sort order right now is smart, which I believe that means that, oh yeah, it says right here, smart mode optimizes for the most shares. So if one particular social network is generating more shares than the other, it'll put that as the first one listed. And it automatically rearranges them as they get more shares. You can choose the size, the number of services shown, whether or not you want to show the share counts and the totals. Um, you can choose a minimum, so you might not want to show the share count unless it gets to say 10 or 20. Um, and you can also change the label. So right now it just says shares, but if you want to do something else like love or <laughs> you know change it to something a little bit more creative, you could do that. And you can also adjust the pixel width where it switches to the mobile, you know, at the bottom of the screen. They have mobile optimized. This is a pro feature, so we can't do that with the free. And uh, just gonna click yes here. And now we have the display rules. So this is also a nice thing. You can either choose to show it on certain pages, and they give you a ton of different options here. Um, you could choose specific URL paths, um, the home page, um, certain devices. So this is a really really cool way to target certain pages if you only want to show the share button say on your blog or only on the home page you can select your display roles here and they continue to give me this message just let me click yes because I changed some stuff here without saving it um, for the for the sharing you could append your Twitter username that way if somebody shares an article you'll get a notification and the mention there um, and then they have another a pro feature which is the tracking so if you have Google Analytics set up you can track these shares it'll basically track um, the sumo me service as a campaign so you'll you'll see within your website traffic stats whether you're getting traffic generated from the social shares by sumo me so that's really the overview of it it's really simple it's not hard there's not a lot of settings here and they they're they're just at the beginning of developing this product so they're coming up with updates really on a weekly basis and like I said I think that this service is better than like by far better than any other social sharing plugin that I've used so I highly highly recommend them go to sumome.com and download them and you can subscribe and like this video or go to websiteprofitcourse.com to get some more of my videos and information about WordPress and web design.